Hey everyone, let's do the EX bosses uh, minus the Earth one. I did that on my previous video at the end. Um, you can check that one out. So we're starting this off with the more complicated one. It's the Amphisvena, um, which is weak to lightning. I'm using the same team I used uh, earlier in my previous video. Machina Dragon, weak to lightning. And I've come to realize that we don't even need Dark Resistance on the team because Sakura takes care of that for us, but it's fine. So we've got Steiner, our passive, uh, our cover evasion unit. Uh, so all you need is full evasion. The rest shouldn't matter as we are getting 100% resistance from Sakura. Uh, Vivi, um, as you can see, he does have some resistances. Um, I just realized I forgot to give him back some form of uh, max stuff. So let's give him that back. Um, where is G's Luis's card? There it is. So you're supposed to have this one. Yeah, he's not capped on magic, but whatever. Oh, sorry, forgot to show his gear. A brave shift, a so brave shift, the standard. He's got um, 225 Machina, 150 Dragon. Not the best, but it's fine. Angela in base form, nothing in Brave Shift. The usual, what you've just seen. She is at 200 Machina, 50 Dragon. And the own vision card. Lightning, uh, technically she was supposed to be passive provoking, but we don't need that anymore. So all she's doing is 90% breaks. Uh, Sakura, nothing here. Dark resistance there, nothing else. And Ling has both the same gear in base and brave shift, so no surprises. All right, let's do this. Three turns. All right. So we'll start this off with Angela limiting. Sakura on this turn is going to be doing True Thunderstone, which is 100% Dark Resistance. And she'll do Fandega. Lightning is going to Null All. She doesn't need to though. Yeah, she actually really doesn't need to, but whatever. And Double Surge. Link shifts back. She does refreshing and double passionate. No, one passionate. Vivi is going to life's radiance and double focus. And Steiner is going to cover and sort out thunder slash. There it is, Steiner covers it all. We immune that one or resist that one. Let's shift link. She'll do Dragon Dancer. Oh, I can do Mechanic next turn and double passionate. Let's limit with Angela. Summon Ramu. 90% spirit break, triple focus on Vivi, and Steiner is going to um, fill LB gauge and cover. Okay. All right, we're good to go for the next turn. All right, we'll have Link just do Machina Killer. Sakura is going to limit for a better am uh, Amplify. Lightning doesn't have anything to do. LB on Angela. Vivi Shift. Quad Fandega. Steiner limits. Let's wait for this to finish. 
We're looking for 2 billion damage. So let's send in Angela. Let's wait a few seconds. Let's send in Vivi. There we go. Alright, so Angela did 1 billion on her own. We need Vivi to do 800 million, but that should be fine. Come on, let me see it. Yep, 2.6 billion. Perfect. Let's check out the report. Yeah, looks good. Alrighty. Let's move on to the other fights. I haven't done them yet, as you can see. Yeah, thank you for showing me something that's not unlocked yet. Um, we'll do Paradise now. Soul Vessel G Elements is next. This one is Human Machina, Weakness Dark. Um, yeah, be sure to keep your Fire Wind and Water Resistance raised. I hope I don't need any of those. All right. Dark. This one should be it. Who's the passive provoker here? I think she is, right? Yeah. So Eris, our passive provoking unit. Let's hope we don't need any resistances and the boss does nothing, literally. So let's see. Okay. Uh, one stack of Seth Limit. Boss is instantly dead. That's not what I want to see. Oh, I hate this. Um, I'll make a quick cut, figure this out, and I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Uh, this is the team. Let me quickly show the gear. Base form doesn't matter. She will never be in base form. Brave Shift Gear doesn't matter as well. Um, Eris is our passive provoke evasion unit. She's got the Tulian card. This is the gear. It's important to be on dual cast and blue wave uh, to chain and uh, protect the boss a bit for the first few turns. Um, if you don't have Tulian, you can use. Um, the Clash of Wills um, hat for passive provoke. But yeah, I don't have it yet, but this one is also, the, the one you can get is 100% provoke, so that's good, right? And it eases up gearing. I don't have it, but I can use the vision card instead, which is fine. Um, Yuna, base form, doesn't really matter too much. Behemoth synergy is what's important, so we can summon Anima on turn one. Um, Brave Shift gear, not important at all. Could be naked for whatever reason, doesn't matter. Lara gear does not matter, but if you care, here it is. Um, nothing too fancy. This should be a dark weapon, yep. But she's not geared entirely for this fight. As you can see, wrong killer types. It's from Last Dark Vision. Titus, he will just chain. I geared him, but I can't fit his uh, LB in the chain, so whatever. And lastly, Sephiroth, base form, some stuff. Uh, Brave Shift, all where it's at. He will cap, solo cap this fight. He's at 300 human, 250 Machina. All right, let's do this. So. Turn one. Eris is going to dual cast, reflect on Titus and protect Gar. That way we can ensure that the boss survives Sephiroth's limit burst. So Sephiroth will stack. Our variant says no. Wow. Love it. It's funny how this swings from having the boss at, I think I pressed the wrong boss, didn't I? 
Yeah, it's level one. Oh, I'm so dumb. All right, so this should be the correct one. Let's do a few more energy pots. So excuse me for using the wrong boss, apparently. All right, so let's redo this. Come on. Reflect. There we go. Suffer of limits. More like it. All right. So Kryla is going to Twilight Pact on Titus and Lara. And she is also going to, I don't know, Jinx. Um, Titus is going to uh, quick hit a few times and clearing. Lara does nothing. Yuna is summoning Anima. With clearing, we got rid of uh, the defense buffs, etc., etc., etc. So we can burst on turn three freely. So the boss won't do much on turn one and two, so we are good to go. Lara does nothing, turn two. Um, Titus does nothing, turn two, so we can just guard these two. Seth shifts back, double purging blade and fallen angel. Yuna um, does not have anything to do turn one, so we'll use Bafarega. Kryla does Elemental Wrath, which is a 130 in peril even. And Eris does Sorcerer's Sidewinder. Hoping that we don't push below 50. We didn't. Great stuff. Fire attack. We absorbed it. Or not absorbed, but resisted it. Alright, and it's kill turn time. So, self limits. Titus is going to triple bolting strike. Lara is going to triple bolting strike. Eris is bolting striking. Uh, let's see. Single enemy. Triple bolting strike. And Yuna brave shifts for triple bolting strike as well. Now with Yuna this is an all enemy strike so this may break but it shouldn't really. Let's send them all in at the same time. Should be a 100 chain score though. There we go, perfect. We are good. And with Sephiroth being Sephiroth, um, yeah, we did 6.6 .6 billion. Good to go. Perfect score on the G element. Yep, Sephiroth did the trick. The good stuff. Alrighty. Let's move on to the next one. There's two left, Paradise and the Star Snow. Um, I need to figure out the hammer boss here first, so I will make yet another cut and I'll be right back once I figure out how to do this. So see you in a second. All right. That didn't take quite that did the blah 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 blah. <laughs> that didn't take long to figure out. So um, the team we got shadow, just basic stuff. Don't ignore blue wave. You don't need it. Xon has a few resistances that are fine here. Nothing else really matters. Um, Bulwark has nothing here. Pause. Dragon's brush. Advanced weapon recall of the wild. Cacteria has absolutely nothing. Mermaid Frisia, nothing. And Auron has this stuff. Um, you need Frisia and Auron at EX plus 3 for this to work, sadly. Maybe EX plus 2 works. I haven't checked it yet, honestly. 
but he is sitting at 300 uh, Mark 9 Beast. And because I hate item world, 399 attack, um, because 7 and 12 are just 9. But yeah, that's the team. Let's go. This one is very straightforward. At least if you have EX plus 3 Orin and Freesia, that is. It's certainly possible without Freesia and just substituting her for Eris, for example. It is absolutely fine. So we'll LB turn one with her. Um, are we? What did I do? Yeah, <laughs> I just LB'd. Um, Oren is going to do uh, Guardian's duty. No, wrong way, wrong order. Omnius, Power Break, Guardian's duty, Bulwark is going to do, he doesn't have any of the necessary killers for this, so it's whatever, but he's gonna do Tempest Tempo, 45% Amp, Imperil, and uh, Impure, which is nice, and he'll do uh, Electric at Samu. Cafeteria is going to Forney Teamwork, <clears throat> Unfaltering, and Cactus Break. Xon and Shadow do nothing. Alright. Xon didn't take any damage. Oren is going to use Tybus' Spirit here. Freezia is going to guard. Uh, we'll do the 90% defense break. Bulwark does his LB for 350% stats. Xon and Shadow do nothing. So, more stuff. Evaded. <clears throat> and here we are. So, the reason why we brought Freezy along is for her 300% LB boost, honestly. That's the only reason she's on the team. <laughs> and yeah, uh, LB on Auron. Well, um, AR, double SR. If you hate AR, double SR, um, what you can do instead is quad um, boating strike. That works too, just saying. And that is why um, there is, um, what's it called? Actually, I can just showcase this. So boating strike. It does not matter to me. Bolting strike three times. Um, triple jingle. Chocophony. Oh, that's all enemies though. It's gonna be fine. And... Um, triple. We'll do where is the bolting strike stuff. There it is. Now with Bolting Strike you have to wait a little bit longer here, but ultimately should be fine. So let's start this off with Auron. There we go, 105 chain. So if you hate AR double SR, Quad Bolting Strike does the trick as well. 4.4 billion, that is cap damage. Yep, looking good. We are climbing the ranks. Alrighty, and that means there's only one remaining, which is Paradise the fire stage. I will once again uh, work this one out and once I figure it out I'll be right back with the clear but this is the team should be very very easy but before I mess up anything else I'll be right back in a second. All right I also figured out the last boss so let's go I'll show the gear afterwards because I just instinctively clicked <laughs> start battle. So first things first, we'll start off with Eris using her Brave Shifted Limit Burst. 
Lara is just going to guard this one out. Ling is going to shift. We'll have her use Dragon Dancer, Mechanic, and um, Slasher Combination Step. Actually, we don't need to. Dragon Dancer, Rallying, Mechanic. Louise is going to quad, fire starter, uh, fire power in cap, and power boost. Bulwark is going to do demon killer, and ugly mixtape. Tybus is going to guard. For the boss, all he does really is just one attack, nobody cares, and heals himself to four, which is very nice for us. Um, Ardent Prayer on turn two, that's all there is. Um, Louise does nothing turn two. Ling shifts back. Disarming, Celestial, and Combination Step. Lara does nothing. Uh, Tyvus is going to do all his Magnus I'm not losing, not giving, and Tyvus' spirit. Bulwark does nothing. We got all the buffs, bosses Demon Machina, we got both buffs at 150%. We are good to go. So we'll triple SR. And if you find SR training to be too tedious, you can just use Chaos Wolf Awakened. It's a little bit easier than SR. Triple SR and both Lara and Bulwark will go for Bolting Strike. Lara does the 90% break. Mascophony. Travis does the Limit Burst. And then we're good. So we'll start off with the left hand side. And there we go. 9.99 billion Tybus is pretty strong, as can be seen. Alright, and I think that should be it. The Earth boss I did in my previous video. So yeah, that are all the EX stages. A little bit harder than I expected, so... Budget guides, they, go, they are going to be hard to believe. I believe they're going to be really hard this time around, but I'll find a way. Or at least cheaper guides without all these premium units carrying these fights. All right. So yeah, tied for rank one with pretty much everyone else at this point. Yeah. How many rank ones are there? Oh, not too many since already done. Yeah, he probably cartoned it. So seven rank ones, easy. All right, so in the next video, I'll do the um, EX stages, um, the Scarlet Demon, yada yada. I already did them on my phone. They are easy, but those are for the next video. So see you in that one. Bye bye. Uh, just adding this in, I forgot to show the gear for this team. So Eris has no gear whatsoever. Um, Louise was our passive provoke evasion unit. Uh, I overcapped on passive provoke, as you can see. That's the gearing, her own vision card, enough physical dodge. She had all resistances above the necessi necessities. Uh, Ling, both base and brave shift in the exact same fashion. As you can see, no difference. Lara, base form doesn't matter. Shift form doesn't matter. And type, oh, uh, the vision card, obviously her own. Uh, Bulwark has some stuff, uh, LB fill mainly, base and brave identical. And then Tybus, uh, star of the show here, this is the build, pretty good I'd say. With his own STMR, his own vision card, and he's at 300 LB, uh, 275 demon, 300 machina. That's a gear, sorry for missing out on that, but here it is, see you then.